Hey friends, in this video we will learn about advanced audit management through the group policy. So this is my domain controller for infoelias.local and uh, this is my uh, one of the client machine which is the part of uh, infoelias.local. So first we will go on the group policy via clicking gpmc.msc this is a shortcut command that you can use to go inside the group policy management console now these all are the group policy which is created inside the group policy objects and these all are uh, linked with the several organizational unit or domain based so now we will just create a new group policy via clicking on the group policy object because every group policy uh, works as a uh, group policy object so this all group policy will be uh, available inside the group policy objects container inside the group policy management here i am just assigning a name to my uh, newly uh, new group policy which is going to be created this is advanced audit management policy so here just i uh, assigning a name advanced audit management policy so uh, you can change the name as per your requirements so just i'm going to click on ok once i click on the ok so i can see this policy comes under the group policy objects as well so now we need to just click on the edit and uh, in the edit i need to click on the policies windows settings inside the windows settings there is a tab security settings in the security settings you can see there are the several other options are available including advanced audit policy configuration so in the advanced audit poli policy configurations you can ch you can just configure the policies regarding account management account logon detail tracking ds access logon log off object uh, access policy changes uh, privilege use system global object access auditing so these all are the sub options in inside the audit policy of the advanced audit policy configuration so we'll see the account con account management first in the account management here you can just uh, uh, configure the policies re regarding the user account management so if you click on the audit user account management and you will go on the explain so these all are the explanations it means if a user which is created on active directory changed deleted renamed disabled enabled logged out or unlocked so this all uh, auditing will be available if you will enable the policy so I'm just going to select uh, select enable uh, with the success so it means if uh, administrator who has just created a, a user account or deleted or somehow he has just changed the options or attribute settings of the user uh, and if he has succeeded uh, to do this all activity so the audit log will be generated inside the event manager so I'm just going to select only success and clicking on the OK. Now I will I will just close this policy because just I have configured for the audit user account management and later we will see if uh, uh, administrator has just changed the group uh, membership of any object so we can also enable it like uh, security group is created, changed or deleted, member is added or removed from a security group type is uh, changed so uh, I'm going to enable it as well so currently I have just enabled two policies one is the user account management and second is the audit security group management so now I'm just going to close this specific policy and uh, I will assign this policy to the top of the uh, domain I mean it will be enabled on the domain so we'll go on the info alias and we'll click on the link and existing GPO uh, so uh, you have the options to selecting this all group policies which is 
created uh, later or uh, which is created earlier so now i am going to select this group policy which we have just created now going to click on ok so this policy has been assigned on the domain level info alias dot local now i will go on the active directory user snap in where we can create a account we'll see the event id as well so i will go dsa.msc this command is used to enter inside the active directory users and computer snap in uh, now this is a domain uh, info alias dot local here we will create some accounts and we'll see inside the event uh, first i will go on the user new and uh, creating a new account like test01 and uh, test01 this is the logon name here i need to specify the password now i will click on the next so this account has been created now I will go on the event this shortcut command is used to go in the event viewer now I will go on the administrative templates administrative events or security events as well it is just in pro uh, in progress to expand the uh, security events we need to wait here now this has been just resumed over here so we'll see uh, these all are the events which is generated over here so now we'll click on the user management and uh, in the user management we'll see what kind of user management is created now I need to find the user which we have created still now and uh, I need to just see the group policy which is applied GP update of and force there are several events are coming over there in the security I need to just check now I will create again a new user I will see dsa.msc because this policy has been changed we can see the logs are uh, available over here for audit policy changes now I will create a new account new user test02 test02 now I will assign a password and uh, I will see inside the logs now we can see there are the some uh, new logs are coming over there I need to just verify the logs user account management now see this account has been created test 02 uh, and uh, because we have just enabled the advanced audit management uh, for the account management and user is the part because I already uh, described that when you are going to create account or deleting the account or making any changes of the attributes of any users 
So these all logs will be generated. And uh, now we can see password not required is disabled. These all are the options which we have configured. You can verify, cross verify this all. Now, uh, because we have also enabled for the group uh, for the group creation or uh, addition or modification, so we need to just go on the Active Directory users and computer snap in here. I will create a group. This is uh, test score group. And I'm going to create a domain local type of group. So uh, this group has been already created now. I need to just cross verify over here. This is the group which we have created. So in f uh, even if you are just modifying the group membership, so you can yeah, the logs will be also generated. So first we will check that if we have created a group, so what kind of logs are generated inside the security logs. So I'm just going to refresh the logs. So see, you can, uh, you can see the security group management. And uh, in the security group management, here is test group, so this means uh, when we have enabled the security group management options inside the advanced audit uh, management in the group policy. So the group creations or user creations are just written inside the event viewer uh, for the security events. So uh, now we can see that the group name is test underscore group here we, which we have created. Now we are just adding any members like uh, administrator I'm just adding the administrator in this group so group member has been added now we'll again see the logs and I just refreshed this now when we click on that so this means uh, yes you can see the administrator account has been added as a member of the uh, in uh, test underscore group. So this means this is just writing not only for the group creations or user creations, but also when you are modifying the groups or adding the members or deleting the groups as well. So this all can be captured inside the uh, you know, security events. Once you enable the audit, advanced audit management. So now I will just going to delete this group. This needs to be also written inside the logs. And uh, I just see a security enabled local group was deleted. So this is also written over here. Now we'll again delete the user. So this needs to be also written inside the logs and uh, test 2 has been just deleted now I will go on the logs a user account was deleted so this is the way which you can follow to enable the uh, advanced audit management this will help you to audit the user creations or any uh, uh, identity related uh, changes uh, for uh, for your active directory and this will help you to show the uh, the proof of example in front of your uh, auditors or uh, for your security teams as well. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will see some other options inside the uh, group policy and for audit management, uh, ad uh, audit management as well.